Okay, here's the schematic for the receiving diode. The middle pin is going to go to ground. The rightmost pin is going to go to 5 volts. And the leftmost pin is going to go to pin 10 on the Arduino. Here's your IR transmitter. The longer leg is your positive lead. Okay, the minus leg is going to go to ground. The positive leg is going to go to the resistor, 100 ohm resistor, and to pin 3 on the Arduino. Now here's a better schematic of the IR transmitter and IR receiver circuit. Feel free to pause the video to see that better. Okay, now let's connect the IR receiver to the Arduino. I'm going to connect a LCD screen so you can better see the clicker hits. You don't need to do this. It's not required. Here you can see me hitting random buttons on my clicker. Okay, now let's open up the Arduino IDE. Here is the sketch. Um, it has the IR remote library. I'll link it in the description. Um, here's a library for the LCD if you want to hook it up. I wrote how to hook it up as well in the description there. Um, the receiver pin is pin 10. Here's how to initialize everything. And this statement says if there is a valid code, um, print the results in hex form. Okay, now I'm going to record all the codes for power, volume up, volume down, and the Netflix button on my remote. Here you can see me hitting the button three times to make sure it's the right code, and copy and paste that into my notepad. Do the same for volume up. Now for volume down. And finally for the Netflix button. Remember these codes are in hex form. Now here are your codes. Now we're going to set up the IR transmitter. We have set up the ground. The shorter leg goes into the ground. We set up the resistor and then that pin goes to pin 3. Here you can see the circuit. Now we're going to open up the IR remote send sketch, which I'll also link in the description. Okay, here are the actual sending codes. Uh, we're going to replace the three dots with the codes we have on the right. Also, make sure because this is hex to add the 0x before all the codes. Now we're going to upload it to the controller. And now we can test it out with the TV. The commands are on the left, and you can see the results on the right. It powered the TV on. It raised the volume up 10 times. It lowered the volume down 10 times. And now it will open up Netflix. And there you have it. Okay, if you enjoyed that tutorial using these two little things, IR receiver and transmitter, stay tuned and subscribe because I will be uploading a new video using that concept with this little chip here and this little thing here. Um, so make sure to check that out when it comes out, hopefully in a few weeks. Um, subscribe here and check out some of my more videos.